Hey, what's going on guys? It's iPod King Carter here. I'm bringing you a brand new video about uh, the pros and the cons of the layup packages in NBA 2K11 followed by the pros and cons of the dunk packages in NBA 2K11. Uh, this was brought to my attention by uh, DE137 from YouTube.com. Uh, you can check out his channel, you know, fly past there, see what's up. He asked me if, you know, I can make a video on the pros and the cons. And I told him, why not? You know, uh, I'll do what I can do for my sub. So, um, basically, I'm using my athletic small forward right here. He's a uh, overall 99, but he isn't maxed out yet. I'm still getting him there. So, you know, I'll bring out some more gameplay about him. Uh, let's get this started. Uh, first off, we're going to go to uh, edit player. Okay, uh, here, um, as you can see, his nickname is Shake and Bake. I'll get to that, you know. Um, a lot of people don't name their player Shake and Bake, but I name mine that. As you can see, his height is 6'9", he's 260, and he's ripped. Um, you know, he kind of looks a little bit like me, you know. My lips ain't that big, though, but... <laughs> Alright, um... You know, he's tatted up, as you can see. You know, I got the, the crowns, you know, for iPod King card. I tried my best, you know, plus the crosses. Um, I really don't have many accessories except for the double rubber bands. Uh, as you can see right here, um, I take pride in my shoes on this, my player. As you can see, I got the suitcases on. These are some high price sneakers right here. As you look at them, they look just like the suitcases straight out the box, you know, when they first came out. Um, the blue, the black, and the white. Um, the real ones had a little bit of silver where the, uh, on the top of the blue, but, you know, I try my best to make them look like them. So, hope y'all like that. Um, as you can see, he's really not done yet. You know, his shot low post isn't up. And he has a couple things in 80 where it needs to be in the 90s. So, you know, almost got him maxed out a little bit. But let's see. All right. Now, um, my signature things that I have is I'm a real big KD uh, fan. Don't ask me why, but I am. Um, I liked him when he first came to the league. He showed off when he was with the Supersonics. And then when he, went, when, then when he moved to OKC, you know, he showed out. So... I just wanted to show him some love. A lot of people say he should have been on this cover and that he should be on the next cover, but I don't I don't know if he'll be able to get that reign. So, you know, it's a lot of different things that Kevin Durant brings to the table, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to go straight to what needs to be done. Oh, as you can see, my crossovers, they aren't maxed out at the best. So, I do want to go over one thing. Um, if you guys don't have the maxed out dribbling, I would say go with... Hmm... You could go with crossover two crossover one isn't good but crossover five is pretty good behind the back it really doesn't matter but i will go with behind the back four uh the spins a lot of people don't know how to do spin moves in the game but i will go with spin one or spin four um the iso step back now a lot of people don't really know about that but you know i like that step back right there because you create space and everybody likes step back one when you don't have you know the best packages now the hesitation moves i go with hesitation one you want to know why because of these that right there see that hesitation where he basically carries with the ball you can get past defenders with no problem now the cross spin everybody know about that little cheesy move <laughs> but um and the forwards and the iso size ups they're really not that good on you know lower ones but let's get to what we came here for <laughs> uh, we came here for the layup packages uh, basically Jamal Crawford is my package you want to know why because on a fast break you can trick up to three defenders you can get one guy to move to the right one guy to back up to the baseline and one guy just jump before you even go into your layup formation <laughs> because once you hit that behind the back move people jump people get rattled they don't know what's going on so that's a good package Mano Ginobili's package really isn't that good this year last year it was cheese you could do so many euros and get through people but this year you get that stuff smacked out the air with with no problem like seven five centers don't take heave to manu ginobili's package now julius Irvin's package people really don't use this package but if you're really tall and you want to get up on under the rim for reverse layups and stuff i would go with that package now steve nash package is for people that want to do quick layups that don't want to jump up in the air and chance of getting their shot blocked so if you just want to come down for a quick layup without coming off your feet and being able to turn around and get back on defense, I would go with that one. Tony Parker layup package for, you know, people that like to be athletic quick and get to the rim with a whole lot of flair. 
because with Tony Parker's package, you could do so much. You can do contested layups. You can get past the defender with a loop to loop layup. You can trick the defender with different types of you know layups. So now Chris Paul's, I really don't like Chris Paul's. Um, it's just too much going on. You don't have to dribble through your leg just to do a layup. <laughs> Now, Rondo's package was good when the game first came out, but people are now on to his layup package, so if you even try it, they already know what to do. Once you go into your first animation, they actually wait until you're about to lay up and just block it. So I wouldn't even go with that one. D-Wade package, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't go with it because there's too many animations. Uh, you actually fall on the ground after every layup, so it's hard to get back on defense if you don't get fouled. So I want to go with that layer package. Uh, Snoop Dogg. I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> okay, rookie guard. Rookie guard layup package is for people that like to keep it basic and get back on defense. As you can see, every time he lays it up, he gets back on defense. That's because he's a rookie. He's not really, you know, flair. He doesn't have a lot, of, a whole lot of shine behind his layups. So you got to keep it basic. Now, the pro guard layups is for people that like to take it up into people's chest for contested layups. Those are the people where they come straight up down. They don't want to cheese into a Euro step or a spin layup. So they just go right up in their chest and just take their chances. <laughs> now the all-star guard layup package is horrible. I really don't like it. It's just too much going on with the all-star layup package. You do do some kind of nice layups, but at the same token, with those loop-the-loops, you give the defenders too much time to come over. And with the way the animations is, is two, in 2K11, you get it blocked a lot. So... Now, Air Jordan layup package is for contact only. You only need this layup package if you know that you're going to go to the line about 10 to 15 times a night because there's so much contact that goes on in his layup. So he's looking to go to the line. Now, Kobe Bryant's layup package, I've tried it once, but it's really hard to get his down. Like, you really have to be going full speed, stop on a dime, and just trick only one defender into jumping. It's pretty hard. Now, we're done with the layup packages. On to the dunking. LeBron. Uh, what can I say about LeBron package? It's amazing. Um, flat out, it's, it's just the best package to have because it's all contact dunks. When he goes up, he's looking for the foul and he's looking for the contact through. Like he's going to the line for one. Period. Nate Robinson's package is for short guys, you know, that want to do stand-up dunks. You know, a lot of short players, they, they may have a 75 um, overall in their stand-up dunking. So, they might be able to do it. So, you know, Nate Robinson package is good for you guys. Ah, Jay Smith. His package is basic until you get to his 360. And there it goes. Because he puts his nuts all in somebody's face. Now, the Nate package is for tall guys that just want to stand-up dunk on you all day, which the 75 centers love to do. So, if you're 7'5", go in the knees. Now, if you're about 6'10 to 7'2", I would go with Amari Stoudemire's. Um, people say they like Garnett's and Malone's, but Stoudemire's is just too aggressive. Just, just very aggressive, you know. Um, D-Wade package is for those guys who like to be slick about it. You know, not get off the air room that, that high, but like to have a little bit of flair to their dunks. Because as you can see in all of the dunks, that he doesn't really get off the ground. But he makes them look good. Flight White. Nobody really uses Flight White. But I would say I've used it for about 2-3 games. It's pretty good on fast breaks. It's not really that good in a half court situation. Maybe off a screen. But not when you're trying to dunk on somebody. Richardson. <sighs> Something like Vince Carter's. Very aggressive. Until you get to the 360. And you might want to use it, you know. That's for people that's about 6'6", you know. They want to just yam on people and at the same token, rattle the room. Now, Drexler, we're not even going to talk about that. Uh, nobody wants to do that package, so I'm not going to say anything about it. It's, it's old school. That's all that, that, <laughs> that needs to be said. Uh, D-Rose package is for point guards and shooting guards that love to get out on a break and that likes to dunk on power forwards and centers. Because you do get up high and you do have a lot of aggression, which is like that one, very aggressive. <laughs> that dunk was very, we we're going to have to run that back. That dunk was very aggressive. Let's see. It's right, not not that one. That one. Nope, not that one. That one. <laughs> very aggressive. All right. Uh, Wilkins dunk package. 
his package is for the flare dunks that you like to see in the paint over top of somebody he has a lot of windmills a lot of pumps it's just it's it's strong dunking he really hangs on a rim and like oh my god it's forceful it's very forceful now Evan Turner dunk package is probably the worst package to have because it's very basic but your animation starts outside the paint so you might have a good chance with his package but you don't won't get very high now Wesley Johnson package is the second best package on the game you want to know why because he has a lot of different variety in his package he has hop step uh, Euro step dunks he has a uh, windmill he has flare he has tomahawk even has spin dunks his, his package is very complete uh, they gave Wesley Johnson a good look on his package I, I would actually go with that if LeBron package didn't exist now rim grazer is for those guys who's only on like I would say 60 to 67 uh, dunking you know it gets the job done <laughs> but you miss a lot of dunks if your stamina is very low so if you're gonna be a rim grazer make sure you have 80 stamina uh, athletic guard those are for those guys you know that just put it up to about 70 to 75 it's trying to show off a little bit you know but Air Jordan packages for those people that just want to leap from the foul line and do cradles from the sidelines. <laughs> Real talk, if you want to do a cradle or you want to just take off and have all the cameras flashing on you and take it up from the foul line, I will go with Jordan's. But I will tell you this, he misses a lot when it's contested. So, you know, just think about that next time you want to pick Air Jordan. Carmelo Anthony's, his is very basic, but at the same time it has a lot of flare dunks. So, you know, if you want to go with that, you can. But to me, he only has about, I would say, five dunks total. But they're all inside the paint. They're not like on fast break dunks. Now, Kobe Bryant dunk package is very simple. It's something like D. Wade's. He gets the job done, but he adds his own little flair to it. You know, he can do reversals. He can do pumps. He can do windmills when he wants. But and he can do the uh, Andre Iguodala one where he brings it from his his waist to his chest, then up in like a little loop loop. I'll show you that. Vince Carter, like I said, is something like uh, Jay Richardson's, very uh, athletic, very uh, aggressive. You know, it gets the job done. But I don't think he has any 360s in this package. Iguodala, something like Flight White, something like uh, Kobe Bryant's dunk package, and something like uh, Jay Smith's dunk package. Very basic. Gets the job done, but no 360s in there. And we're done. Uh, that was the dunk package uh, tutorial. I will give you a little bonus right now. You know, um, 360 dunks are a must. You know, once you raise your dunk packages to a high level, 360s are easy. If you want to do a 360, um, if you're playing on 2K, you want to move it to the left side of the screen when you're pressing turbo so you can do your 360s sometimes if you do it wrong you do hop step dunks but you know just keep trying just keep trying also uh, they have different packages if you use these packages like tomahawk two hand dunks windmills reverse jump classics and all of that guess what they take from your dunk package so if you have all of these filled up with packages of windmills and tomahawks and everything, but you really want to see dunks like this, I would make all of these none because they take away from your package. Like this dunk right here. I'm not even going to lie to you. You would do this dunk every single time if you come down the court, if it's even on one of them. So you don't, you don't want it. All right. So. That's the end of that tutorial, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, comment, like, rate, subscribe. Um, thanks for the love. Um, DE137, I hope you liked the vid. I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.